Good morning, church. We're excited to worship together today, but just want to start off by reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 57. It says, For thus says the one who is high and lifted up, who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. That's describing the God that we serve. He's high and lifted up. He inhabits eternity. His name is holy. He says, I dwell in the high and holy place. And also with him, who is of a contrite and lowly spirit to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Thankful for God who is holy and high and lifted up. And this says that he, he dwells in a high and holy, holy place, but if you come into this place with a heart that is humble and is repentant, he dwells with you too. So the question is, does that describe your heart this morning? I remember when I was reading one time in Psalm 50, I was really just struck by this one half of a verse and as God was kind of laying out, just calling out the wicked. You know, he was saying, you know, you who you love what is evil and you hate what is good, you're arrogant and you're prideful. Then he goes on to say, you thought that I was one like yourself. Like that's where you went wrong is you thought that I was like you. And I remember being convicted because, man, I think so often I can, I can kind of dumb God down to my level and relate to him like he's like, like he's like me. And in a sense, you know, Jesus came and he took on flesh and he, he walked this earth and he went to the cross fully man, but also fully God. So we need to remember God is, he, he, he can relate to us and he can empathize with us and our weaknesses, but he's not like us. He is holy. He's altogether different. He's glorious and he's powerful and He's worthy of our worship and worthy of our praise. And if we'll come into this place with a heart that recognizes that you are God and I'm not, he dwells with us. So would you come this morning with a heart of humility, a heart of repentance, recognizing that, man, I'm broken and I have, I'm in need of salvation and redemption, but I serve a God who is, who is holy and righteous and he's merciful and he's full of love and grace and compassion for me. God, thank you. And we throw ourselves at the mercy of God today. So can we do that this morning? God, we come before you and we just recognize that you are holy. That you dwell in a high and holy place and that you dwell with us if we come before you in that posture of humility. And so we come before you this morning that way, open-handed, surrender to you. We're just gonna sing and remind ourselves of how holy and beautiful and perfect you are. God, we're just gonna, we're gonna just declare the truth of who you are, that you are great and powerful and mighty and awesome and perfect in every way and we're not. And that you love us and you dwell with us. So just let that sink in for a moment before we begin, we begin to sing. He is holy. He's awesome. He's glorious. He's worthy of our worship. Sing it with us. We sing holy, holy. 
Not just from something, but that he saved you to something. Come on, can we give him a hand in this place? He's good. His mercy endures forever. We serve a good, good God, and he's worthy of all our praise. Amen. Come on, can you give somebody a high five as you take your seat?